Hello YouTube, this is the start of another brew day and today I'm brewing a, um, a black IPA haven't officially named it yet, I might have a name by the end of this video um, and it consists of 6 kilos of pale malt uh, 350 grams of Munich 350 grams of Crystal 120 and 270 of Carif Special 2 and I will take you in the house and show you the hop schedule it's big 320 grams altogether and these are the hops uh, we've got 20 grams of warrior for bittering uh, 40, uh, 40 grams of each of Citra, Amarillo and Cascade for the Flame Out edition and 60 grams of Citra, Amarillo and Cascade for dry hopping. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a big one. We'll get back to you. And we're just going to rehydrate the yeast. Um, simple as it sounds and I'm using uh, Mangrove Jack's uh, Craft Series M44 US West Coast yeast. I'm using two sachets because it's like a 7% beer, 3 litres, maybe 4 just to just till the grains run clear uh, till the wort runs clear and there's no grain particles in it, well very little you're never going to get all of them out it's not quite as dark as I thought it would be but it's, it's definitely a black IPA Anyway, we'll get back to this when uh, when I've got some runnings.
Okay, we've got our um, first runnings and they're in the boil pot at the moment and I'm going to add my sparge water because I batch sparge. minutes. And there's the uh, first runnings. This here is the Right Said Fred IPA that I brewed up, which was basically uh, came out of me saying Right, said Fred, what hops have I got as I looked in the hop fridge and uh, blow me down, I just decided that would be a good name for it. So here we go with the four. Not much in the way of head. But is that not clear? Look at how clear that is. Said Fred, here we go. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Back to Bruin. And that's the uh, the work going into the um, the boil kettle. I'm not sure I'm gonna reach my desired amount. So we're just going to have to wait and see. See what we get. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're going to have a full volume. Definitely not. So what I'm going to do just fly sponge a little Just to top it up. It's a cheats way of doing it, but uh, I shouldn't pull any tannins out because I didn't soak it. I didn't uh, batch sparge it again. I just did a kind of a bit of a fly sparge. Oh my god. That is so freaking good. And we're getting closer to our desired um, 
spot now. But like, if worse comes to worse, I will just uh, top the fermenter up with a wee bit of water. A little bit of water. Looks like we're getting damn close. I'm happy with that. So uh, we'll uh, we'll let that go on. You give me your thoughts on what I just did because I've never uh, come across it before when when I've followed a recipe and I've come up short on my volume. So I thought fly sparging would be the best way to rinse the last little bit of grains without. Get the uh, drawing tannins out of it. Um, just let me know what you guys think. Okay, so we've uh, started our 60 minute boil. We've added um, the warrior hops and my pre my pre boil my pre boil gravity is 1.060, but I might be shy a liter and a half. To two liters of uh, pre-boil volume so what I'll do is I'll see at the end when it goes in the fermenter at 20 liters what my gravity is uh, it should be 1.075 I believe okay so we've got the water chiller in and uh, I'm going to pour a beer. This is my Right Said Fred IPA. And would you take a look at that for clarity? That's three weeks in the keg. It's clear as all get out. And at this stage, I'm getting ready for flame out 20 minute hot rest so I'm going to pour all the hops into a cup it's 120 grams uh, 40 of 40 of Amarillo 40 of Cascade US Cascade not that it makes a lot of difference between New Zealand and US Cascade and 40 grams of citra. So there's the hops that are going into it um, at flame out for a 20 minute hop rest. And I've got 60 grams of citra, amarillo and cascade going in dry hopped when the gravity goes below 1.020 or basically five days in. So so let me just unplug, no, hang on, what I'll do first is I'll go and turn the tap on. Turn the watch all around. I just unplug. What am I thinking? What are you like? What are you like? No, so quick correction there. I do not, because I'm doing a hot stand, I just unplug the elements and remove them for cleaning. Let's see if we can uh, show you down here. 
this is this is uh, this is how I clean the elements. Okay. I get two liters of hot water. sodium bicarbonate. I just throw a healthy dose in. I'm not really bothered about how much I put in. Because it only eats organic matter. It doesn't, uh, doesn't eat. Doesn't eat the metal. My, put my uh, muslin bag in there because it's a little dirty as you can see so that'll get cleaned right up and as you can see it's already it's already starting to get into it okay so I throw one in that way one in that way put some of the cord in because some of the cord has been discolored as well. And then I'll put that in there. So we get all of that under the solution as best we can. And I'll cover it up. Okay, we'll be right back when we've got things in the fermenter. Okay, hops are all in. As you can see, uh, well, if you can't see, uh, the hops are in. Uh, and uh, the uh, bloody noisy buggers next door. The hops are all in and uh, we're doing the hop stand for 20 minutes. Then we cool the water down, which takes about between 15 and 20 minutes. And uh, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor. I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor. I tell you what. 7.8% beer. That is a top notch. Cheers. Peace. Now. Only thing left to do is to uh, pitch the yeast, which is really bloody going off right now. And there we have it. One batch down. The black IPA. And we'll let you know how it turns out in a future video. Cheers and 17.